RC with Adam is brought to you in part by these super awesome people. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Today we're taking a look at the Orca FPV Skydive FPV flight simulator from Orca, the goggle company. You know Orca, the Orca goggles, they make FPV goggles. Well, they came out with a free FPV simulator. It's called FPV Skydive. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, is this any good? Is it worth even downloading, even though it's free? You know, like, is this the best free FPV simulator? Well, stick around to the end of this sentence to find out. Yes, it is. I mean, it has to be. I haven't seen a whole lot of other ones, to be honest with you, in terms of free uh, FPV simulators, but it's free. So you may as well give it a shot and uh, try it out. And today I'm going to be using my uh, FlySky FSI6S to practice on here. That's going to be the transmitter that I'm using. Now, if you're wondering where to get this, you can go to the Orca uh, website. Uh, links in the, in the description, and that's basically going to take you to Steam, where you can download this game. Uh, now, you'll notice that this is an early access game, so it is kind of weird. There are some, uh, there are a few little bugs and, and things that are just kind of odd about it. Um, also, it says that it's not compatible with Mac OS 10.15 Catalina, uh, but it seems to be working on my Mac, which is is a newer version than that. So this is a MacBook Pro that I'm using, and it does have Catalina. So I guess they fixed it or something because it's working. So in this video, I'm just going to walk through this and kind of show you some flight footage and some of the features of this game. Here we are in the main menu. You can do a quick fly option, which basically just kind of throws you out onto some track, which I don't really use. The fly option to actually go fly we can look at the settings sometimes the settings doesn't work directly from the main menu but it does uh let's we'll look at those in a moment first let's actually fly this thing let's go to we have three different levels here so we have the orca kind of like your generic um uh level like there's nothing really going on there uh construction arena and red valley but let's just let's just check out all three of them so we have different race maps that we can do Let's do official race map. Personally, I've found that be partially because of like the physics of this and everything, it's very difficult for me to actually be accurate and race like that. But let's give this a shot here. So, okay, I'm supposed to go there. That is one thing about racing. This is not great for racing because like uh, DRL is really good for racing, obviously, Drone Racing League, uh, because it will tell you like which way to go and like show you which gate you need to go to next. But these controls are i'm still getting used to the controls and we'll take a look at those in just a second but oh my gosh all right so uh, a couple good things about this i'm not really going to try and do a great job flying around here i'm just going to tell you about it um a couple good things about this it has a really good uh stick overlay right at the bottom center of the screen so that could be really good if you're watching it if you're watching yourself later seeing what your sticks were doing or if you are trying to do a flight tutorial or something like that. Although, personally, if you're going to try and do that, I think this would not be the greatest simulator for that uh, because the physics are... The physics are the physics is okay. We do have some, like... Um, it'll give us some uh, prop wash, which is kind of just annoying. But, um, eh, yeah. So, anyway, maybe not the best for a, uh, a flight demo type of thing. But we do have that information right where my head is where it's my my little face is covering covering up that corner of the screen but it gives us the frames per second the date and the time i'm not sure why but i guess that could be useful if you're screen recording later on and then of course in the top right hand corner we have like the lap information and stuff and obviously i'm i'm not really even trying to race because like i said i found it just really difficult to to get the settings right uh, for racing. So I'm more of a freestyle guy. Whoa. I'm more of a freestyle guy anyway. So let's leave this level because there's not a whole lot going on there. And let's, uh, let's see, let's go back to the main menu and then let's go back to fly. And then let's go check out the construction arena. Uh, we'll just do freestyle this time. So no, no racing map. This is actually a pretty cool level. Also, I want to note that the graphics here, I have the graphics kind of turned down a little bit. Uh, I think they're like half resolution or something like that. 
or it might be like quarter resolution. Uh, so you could get better resolution, but I, I have to turn them down to do screen recording and that sort of thing. But right there, you could see we had a little bit of prop wash. But but like you could totally learn how to fly uh, in this. And personally, I, I think a level that's a bit more realistic and has some more obstacles and stuff is more fun. And it kind of helps, I, I think, kind of helps you learn to fly uh, because you have more more points of reference, I would say. But we can just explore this this level a little bit. We've got this uh, we've got this um, you know construction building. We can fly through here, and I must have done something with my rates because they're just they're very difficult. It does have an auto restart, so like if you get turned upside down, it'll just automatically kind of plop you back back uh, upright where you were. But yeah, it's like, it's decent. I would say the the throttle uh, is kind of, uh, kind of uh, uh, wimpy. There's not a lot of, of power to this quad. It feels like a pretty heavy quad uh, is, is sort of the, like the feeling that I get from it. So basically, um, I mean, maybe that's good because if you were just learning how to fly, you wouldn't necessarily want to fly something that's going to be even more powerful than your quad in real life and the reason why that turns into a problem is is if you're doing like a dive and then you're trying to like pull out of the dive you have to give yourself more time and more throttle in order to do that so yeah this is the construction level you can get you can get down into things pretty well you can fly through stuff like I said, the physics, when you hit things, it's it's kind of weird. It just sort of like instantly flips you over. Uh, I'm trying to hit stuff, but it's hard. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of weird in that regard. But again, this is free. So, you know, pretty good deal, I would say. Let's see if we can fly through this pipe. Whoa, there we go. Flying through the pipe. And this, um, this entire level is pretty small. So you got have all these mountains around, but they're just kind of hanging out there. In fact, if we try to fly out to the mountains, let's see what happens. Let's see how far we can fly. Oh my gosh. What on earth is, what is going on? Oh no. Oh my gosh. I've broken it. Oh, oh no. We wound up in like the, under the level. Oh no. Okay, I did not think that was going to happen. Oh, we're like stuck in here. Very strange. Okay, well, uh, that's gonna that's gonna do it for that one. My goodness. Let's check out this other level, and then and then we'll talk about some of the uh, some of the other features like changing the rates and that sort of thing. Let's go to Red Valley. I think I like Red Valley a little bit more actually. There's kind of some more more terrain features to fly around. So uh, here we go. Yeah, a bit more open and kind of do a little bit more fast kind of flying. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I don't know if it's the, it's hard to tell sometimes if it's the rates or if it's like sort of the physics of the quadcopter that makes it difficult to fly. But in any case, uh, you can definitely do some, some smooth flying. You can definitely use this to improve your flight skills, your piloting skills for sure. Uh, but I would say don't expect it to be just like real life. But we can get ooh, we can get on in there. There we go. Very cool. And then they have these cool tunnels you can fly through. Pretty neat. Whoa, that'd be so crazy flying in a cave like that. You can pop up through here and come back down. Oh, 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 oh. Get back down there. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There, we'll fly back through here. And then power loop. Oops. Oh, we could go down back there. But we won't. We're going to go over here. Again, this level is pretty small as well. Um, we kind of have this main little section right here. And then we're surrounded by desert. Let's see what happens. What happens when we fly out into the desert? We do have some fisheye 
I would say fisheye effect, but apparently they don't call it a fisheye effect. Oh no, we get stuck again! Oh. Oh, okay, it just kind of, it kind of just throws you back, throws you back into the level. Uh, so it's like you can never leave. Interesting. Here we go. Ooh-wee! We can fly through this one. Oh yeah, whoa. Do a power loop. Boom, right back into the cave. Very cool stuff. And then of course you can do like a race. Uh, you can have a race set up here as well. Love that move. I'm working on that one. That's my new one I'm working on. The old, the old, what do they call that? Is that a Johnny, Johnny flip or a Johnny flick or a something like that? But it's, you know, you, you sort of do a half, half front flip and then a slow roll. So it's like you do like a fast front flip and then a slow roll. Mm, love that. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these settings that we have here that we can access. Let's go to the settings. Sometimes the sometimes the mouse is weird where it's like you have to click to the side of the button. Again, it's you know kind of with the whole early release kind of thing. So that's kind of to be expected. So here in general settings, we have camera field of view. Now it does this weird thing where it shows you the maximum and minimum until you actually hover over it and then it shows you what you are set on. So kind of strange, kind of confusing. But I'm set on 115 degrees field of view and you can change it the more narrow the more it's going to be like you're looking down a, a tunnel and so it will it will be more difficult to fly with a very narrow field of view it's very disorienting camera angle that's the up and down angle you can also change that using your up and down arrow key and so you can go all the way up to 90 or negative 20 and then now of course in terms of the graphics you've got these whoops uh you've got the uh weird blocky propeller arms and propellers so that's kind of strange but let's say we want to set it up let's do it like i don't know 40 degrees and then we can that's the joystick hud on the on the bottom center post-processing fisheye effect i have all those off so that uh the game will actually run well as i'm recording it right now we have texture quality so i'm at quarter resolution we can you can switch through the different resolutions which sometimes 1080p will show up and sometimes it won't uh it's i'm not sure if it's because of my monitors or if it's just a weird thing about the game we have the audio music ui ux and the quad motors and calibrate the joystick that's pretty simple um what you want to do is uh and you, you i think you can hear the quad because apparently i can still control the quad even though i'm not actually like in the game uh so you basically want to make sure that all your sticks you know match up so when you move a stick you want to make sure that it matches up with um, with what you have here. So like the throttle, you can, you can scroll through these numbers. These numbers are not channels. It's like a, it's, it's like some sort of other designation. So you just want to basically like I'm moving the throttle stick. You want to click this number until you see the throttle stick show up so that you, that stick is connected to the throttle. And then you just follow the instructions for, uh, calibrating the sticks and it seems to work out pretty well and then you can invert any of the sticks if you need to now here we have the rates and the rates um it's not, it, i mean at least at least the pitch and the roll are not linked together so that's nice because sometimes people or some simulators do that like uh lift off and it's like why would you do that i don't understand but um you do have some adjustments here again don't expect this to mimic real life or necessarily even uh beta flight rates um, and then over here on the right, we have the graph for the pitch roll, yaw, and throttle. And it's it's okay, but again, a beta flight graph would be like split. So you'd have like one curve going this way and the other curve going that way. Um, whereas this is just one continuous curve, which works fine for like the throttle, but it's kind of confusing because it's, you know, it's not like the beta flight rates. So uh, what we'll do, let's say we want to, let's say we want to like, I want to turn down the RC rate a little bit for the pitch and roll, let's say. And then let's say I want to increase the super rate a little bit uh, so that I get a little bit more of like a kind of a snappy, snappier feeling, but, but smoother towards the center. 
And uh, I don't know, let's just, let's give that a try. And then with the throttle, we can change the expo and the super rate on the throttle. And that's everything. So now let's click the exit uh, button. And let's uh, let's go back, let's get back in here. Let's click exit again. And now we can fly. So here we go. So now we can try out these rates. We have a little bit more camera tilt. Oh, there, whoa, oh, see like I hit a cactus and I just go down, which I don't know, maybe that's real, maybe it's not. But let's try doing a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of smoother flying, kind of slow flying. Of course, we do have a lot of camera angle for sort of slow flying, but trying to do this more smoothly, making small adjustments. Eh, it's not, it's turning out okay, but um, yeah, so you, you can fly more smoothly like that. And a little spiral thing. We'll come up here and then we'll come down. Check this out. Oh, and then we'll fly through. The no, go back that way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, totally messed up my line. Oh, well. And then you can also, you know, do your freestyle stuff. I would say this is going to be better for freestyle as opposed to racing. But you could totally get used to it with racing. You probably, you'd want to lower your, your rates for sure and uh, change those up so they're not so you know twitchy. Because the twitchy rates, um, this isn't really twitchy, this is pretty slow, but uh, twitchier rates and that sort of thing are better for freestyle when you wanna do more of those like freestyle moves, like the something like that. You don't ever really wanna do that when you're, when you're racing um, because it just kinda wastes time and energy. There we go. But you can do all the tricks you want. You know, all the tricks. You can do the you can do the power loop like we showed. You can do the split S. You could do like the Immelman. You can do uh you can do a reverse power loop. You can do a uh one thing I need to practice actually, which I, I love this move and I need to figure out how to do it, is like the like the rewind. Oh. Like where when you go up, usually like something like that, and then you kinda now, that wasn't a very good one, but usually, like, if you're going up on a hour or a high point, and then you, like, stop, and then, like, you just reverse the move that you did, and it looks super cool. Anyway. So, there are some uh, changes that you can make with the rates, but um, it probably won't be exactly like the quad that you fly in real life. So, and this is full throttle by the way, just in case you're wondering. So full throttle right there, pretty slow. We don't have, and we, you know, we don't have any, any headway uh, after that. Like we, we don't, you know, we don't have any room to give it more throttle because we're at full throttle right there. So chabam, there we go. Oh, see like that, like I was trying to pop up over that rock, but like you can't really do it, especially if you're already flying with a lot of camera tilt, which means you're flying at a higher throttle anyway. Uh, like I try to give it a lot of throttle and then, you know what I'm saying? Like right here, like max throttle, max throttle, max throttle, max power. And then nothing really happens. Like it doesn't like shoot up in the air like a, like a real quad. Uh, wood so max power max power it's like it's 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 pretty it's pretty pretty wimpy um kind of like an, an older quad that, was, that wasn't too bad of a split s right there yeah yeah let's do this let's go through here and then oh no oh 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 i wanted to go through a gap and then see oh see I, you can't you can't do poppy stuff with this like you can't just like suddenly pop up and and do uh, some sort of move like that. This is not good for juicy flying, I would say. Not good for juicy flying. Oh no! Oh oh! All right, but hey, you know what? You can still do. <clears throat> pardon me. You know what? You can still do pretty much everything that you can in real life, and you can learn how to fly and get better at flying for sure for the low low price of free for now anyway i don't know they might change it in the future but for now it's free so i would say this probably has to be the best free flight simulator how does it compare to 
uh, free rider FPV, which is about five dollars, I believe, and then you can buy like an expansion pack for I think another five dollars. Uh, I would say FPV free rider is better than this, but again, this one is free. So if you want something that is free, then this is good. But if you want to pay a little bit of money, then you could probably get something a lot better than this. And, and, and honestly, you could probably outgrow this pretty quickly, I would say. Also, I think just the physics and everything else is better on FPV Free Rider, plus more levels and things like that. So, uh, but maybe we will take a look at FPV Free Rider in the future. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it with this one. I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I want to say thank you to all of my Kofi crew, my monthly supporters who uh, generously uh, support this channel with their donations. If you want to become part of the monthly monthly supporter Kofi crew, uh, you will have your name in the credits on every video or just about every video, and you'll have my personal thanks. In any case, if you like this, consider subscribing if you like what you see and you want to see more. And I think I've said everything. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you again very soon. I'm not even looking at the screen. I don't even know what's happening. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Okay. Bye-bye.